Hi, my name is Usman and you are watching Qtex Android Development Course. So in our series of image processing in Android, today we will start our second lecture in which we will see how we can open camera in Android and load image from gallery and save images to the gallery. So let's begin in Android Studio. Let's create our new project. Uh, we can select the empty activity and here we can set a new name and here I am using Kotlin language if you uh, are more expert in Java and you prefer to use Java you can use Java so I will share the Java code also in the description for you so our project has been created let's get started from the layout we will first design our layout uh, so so I have already uh, designed the layout so I will not waste the time and just copy paste the layout over here uh, to save the time and most more spend uh, more time on the backend programming so uh, let's copy so here uh, I am simply had an image view over here so uh, here I have put the button for camera uh, let's change the name into button camera so here I have put a button for loading the image from gallery so I am uh, on click uh, using these two methods we will implement this method over here in the main so one So let's copy it from here so that there will be no spelling mistake over here. So here is uh, just we need to import it. Uh, we can do it by clicking Alt plus uh, Enter. So before getting started, we do need to in this file and order manifest to give the user permission so we will give the camera permission and also the permission for rewrite external storage yeah so uh, by these two uh, permissions we are ready to go for it so here first of all I will check the build version SDK uh, if it is greater than or uh, equal to marshmallow so we will request the runtime permission from the user uh, because uh, before the uh, marshmallow version uh, the request was automatically granted but uh, after marshmallow and in marshmallow we do need to ask the user for the permissions so yeah so we will uh, self check the permissions if uh, the permissions are already granted so for camera and also for uh, storage permission dot write external storage So 
so if the permissions uh, are denied so we will ask for the permission else we will just uh, open the camera because the permissions will be automatically granted so who else the version less than marshmallow so we will run the camera also over here so here we will create the array for camera and for write external storage and we can request the permission if the permission is not granted so for doing this we do need to uh, get the permission code we can select any code over here but uh, uh, let's select 100 you can choose any over here so for request permission we do need to implement the override function where we will get the request so basically what happens when we uh, ask for the permission request permission so the permission will go to this uh, uh, this uh, uh, function with the permission code so we can uh, by a uh, condi uh, condition or when uh, request code is oh sorry when request code so uh, whenever the request code will be equal to the permission code uh, I mean when the, uh, we will getting the request from the upper side on the, this function so we, what we will do is here check if the grant size is greater Concert is equal equal to concert permission granted. So if the permission is granted, so we will uh, open the camera. So for that. Uh, we will create a function where we will put the intent for it before that we can put the else condition over here else permissions are already denied So uh, if the uh, user denied the permission so we will just send a toast message that the permissions are denied so the camera will not be opened unless the user grants the permission for camera and storage. So far here we will write the code to open the uh, camera for that we will create a function so 
here we will simply create an intent for camera just for dot action image capture so I think it is the import issue so we will call it the letter set yeah So if camera intent uh, dot resolve activity this dot packages not equal to null. So we will start the uh, intent. Okay, start activity for result and we send the camera intent and we will have to send the code we can choose any code but we will mention it up in a variable so here we can declare the code You can choose any uh, number. This is your choice. So whatever number we give here, we can uh, create a function for activity result, override the function, and there we will get that request code and do something uh, for that request so here when we click and we come here so here we will check if the request code is equal to the request code for cam so we will get the first of all I think we will need uh, uh, image from camera we can get the bitmap So we are getting the get bit map. Bit map. Yeah. So uh, here we are getting the bitmap from the extras. The bitmap is nothing but uh, as I have told all the images are matrices so this bitmap contains the matrices for the image so we will set the image view inside our here in layout this image view uh, this id so we will set that image view so for so here we will make a variable where we can find that image view so in on create method image view equal to point view by 
find you by id so r dot id dot uh, what was the id so this id iv image so uh, we have got the image view so we will set the image coming from the camera in that image view over in the activity result code whenever the uh, user opens the camera and uh, the image is coming from here we will set that image to the image view so set the fit map This method is good for uh, getting the image, but I will tell you some drawbacks of this thing and how to fix it. So let's uh, run the code. Uh, we are done with our code. So. So uh, uh, we will need to wait for a minute. The app is installing. Uh, I'm using this simulator for using my mobile physical mobile in the computer. So this is not the premium version. So here is a watermark logo in center uh, so let's begin so app is installed in the mobile and let's see if it works So here the uh, we are asking for the permission from the user and storage permission from the user if it allows so we will can click the camera but it should open the camera why it's not working let's check uh, I think I have done something oh yeah uh, here I haven't used this run function and didn't write in the request for whenever so we should write it here so whenever uh, the permissions are allowed so we can open the camera or when the version is less then also we can open the camera and if the permissions we ask uh, over here yeah in the request permission so whenever the requests are granted so we can also open so if the permissions are already given or the version is less than m or uh, the permissions are given by the user that this method will run and uh, camera view will be opened so let's uh, check it again uh, we need to wait for one second so let's install it again so let's check it so you see the camera view is loaded and now we can click the photo from here so when you will click the any 
image from here and uh, so you can see it in the image view so but it, there is a drawback of this thing that I will tell you and we will tell you how to improve that so you see the image uh, inside this image view the quality of the image is not good and when we are working with image processing we need very high quality it is due to this uh, extras method because whenever we uh, get uh, uh, any bit about data from extras we are not allowed to send any data that is greater than uh, 100 KB so 100 KB so that's why the image uh, result uh, is very low uh, by this method I will tell you how to resolve this method and we will uh, can just save the image to gallery and get it from here uh, I will tell you all in the next part so thank you for watching and we will see how with this will be improved